so it's really early in the morning. It is approximately, it's 5.50 a.m. And we are going to Kingston. So that's about a three or four hour drive from where I am in Negril. And we are going to spend the weekend there. So we're gonna spend, today's Friday, we're gonna spend all of Friday there, um, most of Saturday, and then come back Saturday night because Sunday is a no movement day. So I will take you along. I'm probably gonna sleep a little bit in the car because I'm tired, but I'm really excited. Obviously, I've never been to Jamaica, so I've never been to Kingston. And I think we're gonna get up to some cool things. So stay tuned. Also, if you haven't subscribed by now, please subscribe down below. It really helps me out. And like it if you like this. We've stopped for coffee. I don't know if you've heard it, but this is Pat's place. And she's been here for almost 30 years, I think she said. She's not here today. First stop to Kingston. for one night. We decided to do a place that was pretty cheap. So this place was 8,750 Jamaican dollars, which is approximately, well right now it's uh, $59.11. Plus there was a 2,000 Jamaican deposit, which is about $14 US. So, and that will, I will get back when I return this remote to the AC, this remote to the TV, and these keys. And one of the keys that I have is like this old timey key. Very interesting. So it's just a one bedroom. It's nothing special. Their pool's not even open. We're the only people here. Yeah, so now we're gonna chill. I'll probably do a sponge bath because I'm disgusting. And then we're gonna go out and hit Kingston! Super excited! Ah, another place to check off. So to catch you up, I discovered this very pretty little veranda on the property. I'll show you. I took some pictures on it. How freaking pretty is that? Look at that. And it's all metal in the top. It's beautiful and so random.
it's summer. more no, like no, 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 a lounge. lounge. It's a private no, bar no, more because no, you can just walk no, in no, off the road. You have to be invited. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's more like a private lounge where you can just come here, relax. Here. You won't have nobody just walking and come by you. Trust me. It's more like a relaxing spot. Yeah, you know. My name is Alpha. Nice to meet y'all. You're in the city. It's not city. Yeah, that. There are pop worms then. Cling, cling, right? It's on 11. I'm on a girl is so rave I'm on a girl is to come again and wherever you go share this video we are loving and kind and the best sets of people so welcome to Jamaica Highland in the Sun welcome to Jamaica where we gonna have some fun my name is Empress Makiba so we do it round ya say we drink some vines and we burn some marijuana say we touch the street and we do it round ya my name is Empress Makiba I and mean, we say welcome to Jamaica so we're here in Kingston we came or we left our hotel this morning checked out and then we came here for breakfast it's called Timo's restaurant and they're all just ripping, so you'll be able to see that. They're all just ripping. And I think that the person I'm staying with her husband is gonna go do some studio time today. So yeah, super excited. We're here in Kingston for like half of the day and then we'll take the four hour drive home. So be careful what you're taking on your system. Don't be the victim. Rise up and stay strong, this one. Give me with your dissertation, me say mm -hmm. what? He say, love me like your marijuana. Kiss me like your marijuana. Caress me like your marijuana. Oh, me say, love me. Love me like your marijuana. Love me like your marijuana. Kiss me like your marijuana. Caress me like your marijuana. I am a Jamaican hospital because I needed to get my UTI checked out. So I just paid 2500 Jamaican to come and get looked at, which is actually really good. I'm at an emergency room, so... Yeah, I would film it, but it's kind of, obviously it's a hospital. So now I'm just waiting. I had to go one place to pay, then one place for my temperature, and then for my blood pressure, and then one place to describe my symptoms. So I'm just waiting now.
I think I might have a bladder infection or a kidney infection, so I'm in the triage center at the emergency room and I need to pass some urine now. So they took some blood and now I'm just waiting to use the bathroom. I really want to cry, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> a quick and one of the another blood test was a quick blood test and then there's another one that is going to be three hours long so the quick blood test showed that I have um, bacteria and the other blood test is going to show if I have an obstruction so what the doctor thinks is that I have kidney stones and if I have an obstruction, I'm gonna have to go back to the hospital and have a, an IV put in and be admitted. Um, and if I don't, then I will have to go outpatient to get an ultrasound and get the urine culture somewhere else as well to see if I have um, a urinary tract infection as well so that's where we are we're currently at the Devon house because I have to wait three to four hours for that other blood test to come back and we were at um, a university medical center and we didn't want to just sit there it it's crazy like there's just sick people everywhere and we didn't want to just sit there for four hours so we came to this beautiful property for lunch and we're gonna just stay out for a couple of hours and then depending on what my blood test says, I'll have to then decide if I wanna get treatment here, if I need to be admitted, or if I need to fly home and get treatment there, so. Yeah, I've cried once already. I really wanna cry again, but I'm trying to hold it together and just, um, just wait until the next thing and then I'll make some decisions so it also sucks because we're four hours away from home so that's difficult too so now I will show you the Devon house where we're at it's beautiful here I'm gonna have Aki for the first time so that's exciting so yeah Devon house was owned by a gentleman by the name of Mr. George Stabell. Um he was the first black millionaire well, history said he's a fool, but the first black, but other people were here in Jamaica was Richard and him, which are Indian, white, and uh, Syrian, black, black, right? black. but he's the first black millionaire. Um, he is from a family of, of, um, of four. He had, he had two daughters and, you know, his wife and him. Um, Devonos wasn't the original name. It's not the original name for Devonos. It was named Devon Penn, which was it's on Devonos. Devonos is on a, on a 220 acres of land at that time. That's from Garden House to Afri Tree. So um, these two trees was here at that time, which is the mahogany tree, which is up there. And this one is the, is, the, um, is the Bombay mango tree. Then you have the stable, which is uh, two horses, but then with a thing called a chariot, which goes around here. You have the waterfall, it's going around the waterfall every morning, probably about six or seven times, you know, around. Most of the bricks that you see here, they are origin, or original. Now, where the bar is, 
that brick building, it used to be his vault where he kept his money. Oh. So the more money he give away, the more money he had. He found a gold mine, which where he got, where, that's where he get all his money from. His, he, his father was a, a, a slave master. Well, not a slave master, but a slave. He give, what do you call it? Um, he's one of the masters then. One of the big ones. Yeah, on the mansion. And he grew up with them. The, 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 the owner takes him as his own. So that's how you know, he grew up in a, in a, a wealthy home. Okay. I'm gonna stop it here. That's fine. Thank you so much. <laughs>